Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure TDE in SQL Server 2022 version. Okay, so TDE stands for Transparent Database Encryption. So in from 2008 onwards, in order to protect the backups, we have an option called Media Password and Password. So using this, we can protect our the backups. But however, from 2012 onwards, that password and media password option got discontinued and support was there is no support for that. So in order to fix the uh, overcome this issue, Microsoft came with the option called TDE. So before proceeding with the TDE, let's see what are the databases that are encrypted with this. So by default, no databases are encrypted. Okay. So to be on safe side, why? Because if okay i am taking the full backup since it is now not a production server i am taking with the full backup without copy only okay so now so here we need to create the master key okay so for example my i don't have any security policy that's the reason i am using this little password uh, in your case if your organization have a different tough uh, password policy you need to give more like four five three six like um, uh, like it can be 12 words or it can be 18 words or 16 words or 10 words or 8 words okay so now i am creating a master key okay with password okay after that i am going to create a certificate in the master okay with the name certificate for TD uh, subject line is certificate for TDE but the certificate name is TDE certificate okay now I am going to create a in database encryption key protected by the TDE certificate okay now I am taking the backup of these keys okay click execute yeah done now i am enabling this thing okay and i'm enabling the encryption and data gives level okay click execute so in order to know what are the databases which are enabled for tde using graphical user interface right click on the database go to the properties and go to click our options files if you see here restriction uh, encryption enable true it means this database is TDE enabled so this is how we can know uh, using graphical interface now if you see here okay uh, so there are two databases but we have see here one thing what we need to observe uh, is if we enable encryption for user databases then mpdb will also get encrypted automatically okay so now if you see the certificates this is our certificate and it is encrypted by the master key and this is uh, on this date it is going to get expired okay and okay now now what i am going to do is this is, this is how now so let's see them we have configured everything but we need to restore the database right so i don't have uh, another sql server instance so now i want to show you what the uh, let's assume that uh, let's take that backup okay so that we will be confident i am taking the backup good yeah I have taken the DBA database backup which is already after TDE enable okay so now since I don't have any destination server to restore it so that's the reason I am rollbacking the steps okay so I am turn, turning off the database encryption I am dropping the encryption key okay I am dropping the certificate as well okay so i am not doing this master key why because in the real time one only for one master database there will be only one master key using this master key there are n number of certificates so that's the reason so i always recommend while using this option to be conscious okay yeah. 
so right now this is in test server i am dropping this so right now i have cleaned my lab and assume that this is a not source server this is the destination server okay so i am deleting the database here now i am trying to restore the database which is tde enabled let's see what the error we get okay device go to that properties and this is database click restore see this is the error what we get right okay if you try to restore this is the error so you cannot find server certificate with thermint so so in order to restore this one we need to restore the keys as well so now i am moving this back to key so this is the uh, i mean not here so this is the certificate keys that we have created right so in order to create this so i am going to this one so here create from description okay so right click so please create a master key so we need to create the master key right so now i am creating the master key after that i am restoring this one now done now let's restore the same thing restore this database go to where so it is tdi used for the databases so if anybody stolen the dot bak files so without using these files without using this master certificates they cannot restore on their test missions and they cannot use the data so this is the advantage of uh, tde but the, what is the disadvantage that we have means it consumes more io while encrypting and decrypting in real time so this is one of the disadvantage what we have for tde and uh, we can also enable uh, all the tde for always on with the, the databases which are participating in always on okay so i am going to give the scripts in the description and you can configure and practice your own test mission and you can implement uh, in your productions as well with your consciousness yeah thank you bye